Welcome to Well Balanced Kids on Yard Yoga Sequence. So, first, before you do this sequence, it's great to do a warm up. So, please do look at our sun salutation video and do that a couple of times. Um, do the sun salutation a couple of times before doing this video. And then, after this video, you might like to do one of the relaxation videos to give yourself a nice yoga sequence. So, today's session on Farm Yard Yoga is going to give you an opportunity to make lots of silly noises so i hope you have lots of fun as well as a good old stretch rosa you'll enjoy that won't you oh yes it's my speciality <laughs> okay so as we go on to the farm i was wondering um what's your favorite farmyard animal rosa i like sheep dogs first of all i like sheep and dogs sheep dogs are especially fast and i think they're also quite good okay and cute Fairly safe. Yeah, they can be. I think my favourite farmyard animal is the cockerel. I really <laughs> like the coloured feathers and I like how they go cock a doo doo doo. But it's good that you like sheep dogs, Rosa, because that's going to be the first animal that we do today. <coughs> We're going to do downward dog and then upward dog. So let's get into position. Hands nice and wide, like big dog paws, at the front of your mat. And then feet hip width apart. And push yourself up and push your bottom back and keep your legs, um, try and keep your legs hip width apart and your back nice and straight so that your bottom's going as high as you can. So you're pushing away from your hands. And then we go into upward dog. So we go forward and let our feet go flat on the floor while we look up to the ceiling and trying to keep as much space as we can between our shoulders and our ears. So let's just go back and forth a few times and maybe we might have some dog noises. So one more time back into downward dog and forward into upward dog. That's a great dog. I feel like I'm surrounded by dogs here. Okay, so in the yard, in the, not in the yard, sorry, in the field next to the farmyard is a bull. Now, isn't that a cow? Uh, it must be a bull because it's got horns. Cows don't have horns, do they? So it must be a bull. It looks like a very friendly bull, but yes. I don't think I'd want to be in a field with a bull. Why, why it's not a good idea to be in a field with a bull, Rosa? Well, first of all, it could charge and I wouldn't want to be in that red tractor there oh yeah because it's red and yeah. you don't and you know what happens when you get red with a bull it's not true. a good mix it's not a great mix because the bull might see red and get angry and charge you so if you are wearing something red maybe skirt around the edge of the field if you're in a field with a bull or maybe skirt around the edge of a field even if you haven't got red on or just take it off and just put it around your back and you're like, Nothing to see here. Good advice. Okay, so we're going to do bull pose, which is like downward dog. You start off in the same position with your bottom in the air and pushing back from your hands, but this time you bring your knee towards your forehead, so you're rounding your back. And do it on both sides with both knees. And while one knee's trying to touch your forehead, you could try and get your heel of the other foot to try and get as close to the ground as possible. So you can imagine that you're a bull charging someone with a red t-shirt. <laughs> okay. <sighs> so what other animals? Oh, we didn't have any bull noises. Oh, Wait. I don't know any. Huh. Oh, could you, bit, could you do a bull noise? <laughs> that sounded quite good for a bull. I want to get out of that field pretty quick. So we're going to run out of the field and make sure what you must always do when you're in the countryside, which is to close the gate after you so that no animals can escape. So we're going to do gate pose. So put one foot out while the other one's straight. Put one hand on the leg that's stretched out. Bring over the other arm and stretch down. Now you might be able to stretch down really far or you might only be able to stretch as far as me. The important thing is not to lean forward, try and keep yourself upright and then stretch the side as far as you can and uh, just hold it there. You might feel a stretch on your inner thigh. Oh, I really do. 
And then let's make sure we always do the other side. It's always important to do both sides when you're doing yoga so that your body's equally stretched. And over we go. I can go as far as I can on the other one. Shutting the gate. And as we go through, we go to another field. And in that field, there's lots and lots of trees. So let's go into tree pose. One of my other favourite poses too. Rosie likes this pose. So the important thing in tree pose is to get your drishti point, your point of focus. So find something on a wall, something that's not moving, that you can focus on. And when you've got that point of focus, whoop, I'm falling over. Either put your foot on your inner thigh, or if that's too difficult, you can put it on your ankle. Oh, I've got slippy trousers on today. So I'll I put mine up. up just to help me. Ah! <laughs> so you can put your foot on your ankle like so. And you either have your hands together at your chest or above your head. If I do that, you can't see it. So I'm going to keep them down there. So the most important thing is just not to have your foot resting on your knee because you can push ah! your knee out of joint. And always make sure that your knee is pointing outwards rather than in front of you. And see how long you can hold it for. Maybe you can hold it five seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds. Those trees have been standing there for a long time. See how long you can stand there for. And what must we do, Rosa, once we've done one side? We have to always do the other side. That's correct. So let's get your, you might want to shake your leg out. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then put weight on the other foot, find your drishti point, find your point of focus and get your foot either by your ankle or on your inner thigh and bring your hands together. And let's count down from 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rosa's got a rather windy tree. It's going back and forth. <laughs> Maybe it's got blown over. Oh yeah. So in this farm, we also have, oh, just move to one side, Rosa. We can see it's right behind you. A horse. Yeah. <laughs> So let's go into horse pose. So again, we start off with the downward dog. Oh, yay! Push back from our hand and then we raise one leg. So try not to raise it up, but try and raise it out and up. And try also to keep your hips nice and level so that you're not twisting your hips. Do it on one side. And then do it on the other. Okay, where's that horse gone? I can't hear it anymore. No. 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 I want my food. <laughs> and what do horses tend to eat when they want some food? Hay. Hay. So let's let's be a good farmer and put some bales of hay out for our horse to eat. So we'll go into child pose and pretend that we are a bale of hay. Down we go. Into a nice bale of hay. And you can imagine that that hay is being getting eaten by the horse and it's sinking lower and lower into the ground. Mm. And so you are sinking lower and lower into the ground. Let gravity do its magic. And then come up super slowly because we don't want to get dizzy. So, what else is on the farm? Well, I wonder. I think there is something called a cock. You're right, but we haven't got a cock or pose in yoga. But what oh. we do have is we do have a pose called resting dove, and there's often doves that hang out in farms. So we're going to do resting dove pose, which is a lovely pose to end on. So we lie down Ooh, and um, I hope you can see me. <laughs> I'm not sure you can. So I lie down, I'm going to lie this way. Lie down, let your feet go long and then put one hand on one shoulder, one hand on the other shoulder and give yourself a nice big hug. 
Your knees are supposed to be up and your feet are on the ground. Sorry about that. <laughs> and then swap over your arms so the other arms on top. Give yourself a hug the other way around. Or if you're not going to be a cockle, you could be a resting dog. So you could go, coo, coo. Instead. But just with animals instead, yeah. And then maybe some puppies on the trip or fishes. So just remember that even if you can't get out and about, maybe you've never been to a farm, maybe you might um, not be able to go to a farm for a long time, but you can always imagine that you're going to a farm and doing yoga at the same time is always good fun, I find. What do you think, Rosa? Oh, I totally agree with you, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> All yeah, right. I wish I was there right now, just stroking that beautiful sheep on there. Oh yeah, we saw some really lovely lambs the other day when we went into the countryside, and they were so cute. It's really gorgeous, <laughs> and they? especially as they were running. Wee, 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 wee. They look like they've got little springs on their feet. The way they bounce around, like a frog. Yeah. Well, that's it for our farmyard yoga. Uh, we'll be doing another little yoga story yoga place. Uh, very soon so do keep watching and um, I think where are we going next I think we're going to the sea next Ooh, time the sea, sorry. <gasps> I love the sea. we'll be going for a trip on a boat so um, until then <laughs> goodbye bye bye see you next time and if you want to just relax now watch one of the relaxation videos Hello. see you soon <laughs>